So hello James, welcome to Spain. Hola Santiago. <laughs> How are you in Spain? How do you feel in Spain? Oh, it's fantastic. Um, ayer visitamos a, a Museo del Prado y también a um, uh, Parque del, del Retiro. Mm -hmm. uh, fue magnífico. It's your first time here in Spain. Magnífico. Sí, es mi primera visi visita. Visita. Mm -hmm. Sí. So, you're in promotion of a, a TV show, it's called I, with, I with Eyewitness, yeah. yes, Castillo so, and, uh, in Espanol, mm -hmm. what, what do you tell us about, uh, how about the Eyewitness, what are we are going to see? Well, Eyewitness is, uh, honestly, it's, 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 uh, you're going to see uh, who saw it and not a who done it, because it's very unusual, because it's, you learn who the killer is uh, from the first episode through the eyes of these two young boys, uh, Tyler Young and I play. Uh, and they kind of have this little rendezvous in a cabin and they have their first uh, uh, sexual experience with one another and then they witness this triple homicide. And my character is violently closeted so he decides to keep it a secret. And the show kind of chronicles the consequences of keeping that dangerous secret of, of these murders. And it kind of, uh, it's very character driven, psychological, and it's, but it's not stereotypical like a crime, like a, normal crime thriller. It's very uh, very much about the characters and their relationships together in a small town and how this murder affects the whole town. Mm -hmm. So the story we are going to see is like, uh, for one side we are going to see the, the villain, the, uh, uh -huh. the murderer, and exactly. we are going to see your story. What uh -huh. can you tell about your play, your character? About my character is uh, he's a young uh, motocross rider. He's, he, that's his favorite thing in the world. He's on his way to becoming a young professional. And um, he meets this boy who comes from the city and has a whole different perspective because my character lives, you know, lives on a farm with his dad. He's very kind of this kind of macho kid who, who is kind of inside wrestling with maybe, maybe, maybe you're not, maybe he's gay, maybe he's not. He's, he doesn't know, he doesn't want to acknowledge it. He's so frightened of that, of that thought. But he's also so attracted to this new boy that comes so... Um, he makes the irrational decision to force the other to, to, to keep it a secret and they're not going to tell anybody. He'll just, in his mind, it's just going to go away. It's going to go away and uh, they're going to be fine. But of course, things are never that simple. And um, it kind of, the show kind of chronicles his journey of self exploration and, and, uh, and his, his journey to, towards loving himself. You know? mm -hmm. And so um, it's a very interesting dynamic between the two boys. It's, I think it's kind of the, the heart of the story. In the last two or three years, we are seeing a trendy. It's like uh, gay people, uh, the collective. We are seeing a lot of uh, TV shows and cinema movies. Yes, or is the new black? So it's black. yeah. So it's, it's uh -huh. you, you think it's a trendy? So it's going to be this visibility is good for the for the collective? Yes, because uh, this the LGBT community, uh, TQ community is not um, handled with any stereotypes in our show. It's, it's very much a love story just between two people, and, and that's kind of what Brokeback Mountain was, you know, and it shows everybody that, that love comes in all forms, and, and, it's, and it's, it's real no matter what. And, and I think this show will show that even if people uh, don't know much about the, the, the community and stuff, and, and gay people, they'll, they'll still be willing to watch at least to learn a bit more, and also be, become more accepting. I think there's still a lot of prejudices and it's kind of a modern day civil rights kind of movement, especially, I mean, in our country, we had the uh, tragic shootings in Orlando, Florida, you know, um, at the gay club, nightclub, and there's just so much social commentary that comes along with the show. But what I loved about the show is that the show isn't just about that, you know, it, the, the writing is, is, is good in and of, of itself, it, besides that, you know, follow, following all the other characters. It just, shows that you can have two gay main characters and it's not about having two gay main characters. You know what I mean? It's yeah. Kind of, it's kind of hard to explain, but it's, you know, it's, we're not token characters. You're not there to exist as stereotypes like the media has often portrayed the community in quite polarizing, cliche, kind of stereotypical ways. And, and I think this, this is going to change that. I don't think people have seen uh, such a powerful love story between um, two members of, of the same-sex community ever, besides, in TV. This TV show is an adaptation of a Norwegian series. Uh -huh. So yeah. what are we going to see different between the, the European version and the American version? A lot. Uh, it's very, very different. Uh, you know, the, that show is so, it was such a big hit in Norway and such a good show that it really offered the kind of the blueprint and the, and the gold mine of the material was so good that 
the, it gave, uh, it still had a lot of room to even go different places for our show because our show is very much a reimagining of, of that and it's kind of, uh, because our show also goes four episodes longer, four episodes more than the original so the first couple episodes are, are very similar kind of to the, uh, uh, but then it kind of goes a whole different direction. Okay, so thank you, James, for your, for your time. Thank you. No lo sabrá nadie, porque tú no lo contarás. Debajo de la cama. Le he visto. Estaba allí de pie, detrás suyo. No puedes escapar. Tenemos tres cadáveres sin ningún testigo. De lo que has visto. He visto al tío de la cabaña. No podemos contarle esto a nadie. ¿Vale? No lo haré. 8 de noviembre, 11 menos 10 de la noche, Eyewitness, estreno en exclusiva en Calle 13.